black light. You should want for your brother and sister what you want for yourself. It's the duty of a civilized man to teach the uncivilized. Uh, be in the world but not of the world. What do all this mean? People go along just to get along. Even though they know it's wrong. Sometimes people with big personalities influence us in negative ways. And people with charisma influences us in negative ways. How can a brother or sister talk positive and then if someone rubs them the wrong way they want to jump on the person and beat them up. Instead of trying to change their minds. See, once a person got their mind made up, it's hard to change their mind. If a person think that something's supposed to be a certain way, and they got their mind made up, that's the way it's going to be. More than likely, you're not going to change their minds by just talking. Sometimes you got to change their minds in response to what they say or do to you. It's the way how you handle Nah, we got brothers on YouTube, you know, they talking a whole lot of spirituality and a whole lot of Egyptology and metaphysics and all types of philosophy. But if one insults the other, they get all upset. Want to fight them and jump on them and whatever sometimes kill them but you know uh, the Supreme Minister John Muhammad was telling me something about Master Farah Muhammad in the early days when Master Farah Muhammad was in Detroit building up the lost foundation of Islam the Supreme Minister told me that uh, they were talking on the streets to this brother that was a non-believer. Uh, he didn't want to accept the teachings. And he got mad and hit Master Farad Muhammad. And I said, well, you know, what did Master Farah Muhammad do? He said, we wanted to jump on the brother, speaking of Mr. Supreme Minister John Muhammad, but uh, Master Farah told him no. He said that that very same brother that hit me, one day it's going to be the best student or the best Muslim one of the best Muslims that we got. Now, he never did finish telling if that brother became a Muslim or whatever. 
but it was more so the response of Master Farah Muhammad that intrigued me because this guy hit him. Now, they say he God, so, you know, you expect somebody to hit God, that God go, uh, lightning bolts is going to come and strike him down. But no, he said, no, forget it, brother. You know, so he responded to that in a non-violent way. And I'm quite sure that the brother, you know, his conscience got to him and he said, man, you know, it wasn't worth me hitting the brother, hitting uh, the, that man. You should want for your brother what you want for yourself. Do unto others as you want them, as you want it to be done unto you. If you got blessings, you want blessings to be on everybody. Uh, but Sometimes it's not meant to be like that. But it's the, the condition of your heart that really counts. You know, it's uh, the intent of your heart what really matters. If uh, you want to spread blessings, And you don't quite get to spread blessings, but there's what your intentions to spread blessings. I think the universe will smile on you, forgive you, because you didn't do it. But it's what's the, what's in your heart that really matters. And no matter if you a Muslim, Christian, or atheist, or whatever. It don't matter what you call yourself. If you made up like that, if you got a hard heart, one day it's gonna get soft. Because the universe gives tough, tough love. You know, it's a tough love world that, or not world, but reality. You reap what you sow. So, all my brothers and sisters uh, who want to shoot each other up and kill each other. And, You don't say do that to the, to the to your enemy. That got you in this condition in the beginning. I'm kind of like thinking that it's too late anyway to uh, retaliate against the Caucasian or those over you. I'm thinking that uh, we are letting the Caucasian treat us like this. Because that corruption have, has entered into our hearts. So, the best thing uh, to remedy that is to take that journey within, purify our hearts, self-correction, check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. This is Black Light Out.